It's Umsum time. What if Iron Man disappeared? Huh? No problem. I will eat spinach and become as strong as Iron Man. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> Firstly, if Iron Man disappears, huh? uh -huh. other superheroes of the Marvel Universe will surely miss their best friend. Mm. Secondly, if Iron Man disappeared, Superman will have one less competition in the race for the ultimate superhero. Mm. Thirdly, if Iron Man disappeared, Spider-Man will sorely miss his mentor. Fourthly, if Iron Man disappeared, Robert Downey Jr., the actor mm. who plays the role of Iron Man, might start auditioning for new roles. Mm. Fifthly, if Iron Man disappeared, other options like Steel Man, Bronze Man, Silver Man, etc. might start popping up. Yeah. Lastly, if Iron Man disappeared, everyone will surely miss the stylish way in which the Iron Man suit was worn by Robert Downey Jr. Hmm. Ah, what if the Earth was cube-shaped? Holy moly! Will my cute chubby round face also turn into a cube? <laughs> oh, I'm some. <laughs> Earth is spherical in shape because of gravity. Ah, Earth's gravity mm. pulls everything equally towards its center and thus ah. gives it a spherical shape. Now, if the Earth was cube-shaped, Firstly, it would look weird, right? Secondly, just like gravity, our weight would be different at different places on Earth. This is because the eight corners of the cube would be much further away from the cube center as compared to the rest of the cube. But this would be good news for people who are overweight and lazy. Now they can just go to the corners ah. and voila, their weight gets reduced. Thirdly, due to low gravitational force, the cube corners would have very less atmospheric cover and almost no water, thus rendering them inhospitable. Mm. What if a massive solar flare hits Earth? Uh -huh. I will use my Umsum shield and protect the Earth. <laughs> oh, Umsum. Solar flares are sudden and massive eruptions of electromagnetic radiation from the sun's surface. <laughs> a massive solar flare which occurred in 1859 had minimal impact, but it would have massive disruptions today, huh? mainly because of our over-reliance on technology. The Earth's surface would be safe, but our atmosphere would bear the entire brunt of radiation, that is, radio waves, x-rays, gamma rays, etc. Firstly, there would be a major disruption of power grids, possibly leaving cities or even countries without any electricity. Secondly, our good old radio communication would be down and out. Thirdly, and most importantly, GPS and satellite communications would be hit. This would cause major problems for transportation and communication. Lastly, because of massive auroras, our atmosphere would look like a magnificent painting. What if we burn all the fossil fuels? Then I will eat all the burgers in the world. Oh, um some. Fossil fuel is a natural fuel such as coal, oil, or natural gas, which has formed over millions of years from the anaerobic decomposition of dead organisms. Now, if we were to burn all the fossil fuels in the world, then more than 5 trillion tons of greenhouse gases, mostly carbon dioxide, would be released in the atmosphere. This would lead to greenhouse gas levels not seen in more than 400 million years. As a result, huh? global temperatures would increase by more than 10 degrees oh. Celsius. All the ice on Earth would melt, increasing sea levels by more than 100 mm. feet, thus submerging all the coastal cities of the world. Lastly, rainfalls would be highly unpredictable. Some areas would receive extreme rainfall, while others would receive very less. Hmm. What if we planted a trillion trees? I will eat a billion burgers. Oh, um <laughs> some. There are about three trillion trees on Earth right now, so planting a trillion trees would increase that number by 33%. The impact will ah. definitely be positive for Earth as well as all the living things. Hmm. But this will not immediately solve the climate change problem. Firstly, freeing up so much land for planting trees seems like a mammoth task. 
Secondly, these trees would take a number of years to grow big enough to make any meaningful contribution towards reducing carbon dioxide from air. Thirdly, if we do nothing about emissions and keep on adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, then by the time trees grow, we would have added more than 1 trillion tons of carbon dioxide, thus nullifying the effects mm -hmm. of these trees. So, plantation of trees plus cut in emissions are the need of the hour. What if you fall into quicksand? No problem. I am quicker than quicksand. Oh, I'm some. <laughs> quicksand is a waterlogged mixture of sand, clay, and salt. It is a non-Newtonian fluid. That is, it changes its thickness or viscosity depending on the stress applied on it. So, an undisturbed quicksand appears and acts like a solid. Huh? But when we step on it, our weight increases the stress. Hence, it starts behaving like a liquid, uh -huh. thus causing us to sink. However, we will not huh? fully sink into quicksand. Why? Mm -hmm. Firstly, because quicksand is usually not very deep. Secondly, it is believed that quicksand is a bit denser than humans. So what? Hmm. In an experiment, experts prepared aluminum beads uh -huh. which had similar density as humans. Oh. When they place those beads in quicksand and move them to mimic the action of a panicked human, the beads sank, but only halfway, thus indicating that we will not completely sink in quicksand. Mm. Ah. What if Jupiter never existed? Oh. No problem. I will give company to Saturn, ah. Jupiter's lonely neighbor. <laughs> oh, um, some. As per Roman mythology, Jupiter is the god of thunder, lightning, and storms. It is the largest planet in our solar system, and its mass is about 2.5 times the total combined weight of all the other planets in our solar system. Now, if Jupiter would have never existed, it is safe to say that even we would not have existed. Why? Because some scientists believe that during the initial stages of the formation of our solar system, mm -hmm. Jupiter's inward ah. migration towards the Sun and then subsequent outward oh. migration away from the Sun and towards Saturn played a vital role in the formation of Mercury, Venus, and Earth. Also, since ages, Jupiter has been protecting Earth from collisions with large asteroids and comets. Lastly, more than 70 moons of Jupiter would have wandered along the solar system as orphans. Hmm. What if the Earth had rings like Saturn? Then Jupiter would be jealous of both of them. Oh, um, some. <laughs> Earth would have rings if a celestial body like Moon or Comet gets too close to it and exceeds the Roche limit. It will get ripped apart into pieces, thus forming its rings. First of all, Earth would look spectacular. <laughs> Secondly, selfies <laughs> might be called ringies, as people will start taking selfies with rings as a backdrop. Thirdly, nights would be much brighter than they are now. This is because the rings would be much closer than the moon and also much more spread apart, thus reflecting much more light. Fourthly, weather patterns or atmosphere composition might change depending upon what the rings are made up of. Saturn's rings are made of billions of particles of ice, rocks, and dust. <laughs> Lastly, they would surely top the world's best tourist destination hmm. list. Hmm. What if Earth had doubled in size? Wow! Will my burgers also double in size? <laughs> Stop it, umsum. The diameter of Earth would increase from 8,000 miles to 16,000 <laughs> miles. If the density of Earth remains same, then its mass will increase eightfold. Earth's gravity will naturally double. This will have major consequences. Firstly, our weight will double. All the gyms will definitely see increased enrollments. Secondly, our bones will not be able to support our increased weight. Thirdly, our hearts will have to work double hard to make sure blood reaches all the parts of our body. Fourthly, birds, airplanes, choppers will all fall down to the ground. Fifthly, trees will not be able to stand upright. Most of them will fall down. Finally, if we fall down, it will hurt twice as much. Hmm. What if all the mountains disappeared? Hmm. I'm some clones would take their places. <laughs> nah. Earth's solid surface is made up of several tectonic plates. 
Mountains are formed when two tectonic plates smash into each other. Ah. Now, if mountains disappeared, then tectonic plates would also have disappeared. With the tectonic plates gone, hot mantle below would take its place, thus making it impossible for us to even walk. With no mountains, the lava present in them would flow and spread to the surrounding cities. Global ecosystem would also get disturbed as mountains possess a great variety of flora and fauna. As glaciers on mountains are a source of water for many rivers, no mountains means those rivers would dry out. Also, since mountains change the direction of winds and block rain clouds, there would be catastrophic changes in global weather patterns. Lastly, without mountains, we would not be able to paraglide, ski, or enjoy river rafting. Hmm. What if there were oh. no clouds? Hmm. No problem. I have my magic carpet. <coughs> oh, um, some. <laughs> Firstly, without any clouds, huh? sunsets would no longer look spectacular. <laughs> Secondly, without any clouds, hey. there would be no way to redistribute fresh water from one place to another. Why? Because no clouds means no rains. Eventually, all the water present on Earth would evaporate and our Earth would begin hey. to look like Mars, dry and barren. Thirdly, temperatures would suddenly rise during daytime and drop at night. Why? This is because clouds help regulate temperature. As clouds are generally white in color, they reflect a good amount of sunlight, thus helping keep our day temperatures down. But at the same time, at night, they don't allow all the heat reflected from Earth to escape, thus not allowing our nights to get too cold. What if wind suddenly stopped? Wind might stop. But Umsum the Great will never stop! Stop it, Umsum. Firstly, if there was no wind in heavily industrialized places, pollutants would not disperse, <coughs> making the air extremely toxic. Secondly, equator would get more hotter, while poles would get more cooler. Why? Because in the absence of winds, heat at the equator will not be oh. carried to the poles. <laughs> Thirdly, kite and sailing ship enthusiasts would be extremely unhappy as kites will suddenly fall down and sailing ships would suddenly halt. Fourthly, birds would be very sad as there would not be any free lift anymore. They will have to flap their wings all the time. Fifthly, as wings are a major source of pollination, without wings, plant life would greatly suffer. Sixthly, Wind energy companies will not be happy with this sudden change. Hmm. One plus point of wind stopping suddenly is that there will be no more tornadoes and hurricanes. Hmm. What if all the nitrogen disappeared? No worries, at least I have my burgers. Forget it. Our atmosphere is 78% nitrogen. Together with oxygen and other gases, our atmosphere exerts a huge pressure on oh. our bodies. While breathing, this atmospheric pressure helps squeeze out oxygen from our lungs into our blood. So, without nitrogen, atmospheric pressure would drop, thus reducing the amount of oxygen entering our blood. Also, air in our sinuses exerts an equal amount of pressure to balance the atmospheric pressure. However, low atmospheric pressure will create pressure differences, leading to headaches. Without nitrogen, number of free unstable oxygen radicals would drastically increase in our body, leading to damage of our DNA, thus increasing the risk of cancer. Hmm. Lastly, nitrogen is an essential component of our DNA, RNA, and even chlorophyll, the pigment which helps plants prepare its food. So basically, without nitrogen, there would be no life on Earth. 